As lunar technology continues to progress, tourists will soon have the ability to travel to the moon for limited periods of time. The big question is whether or not it's worth preserving the archaeological sites on the moon. I was rolling on the moon one day in a very early month of December. While it certainly is an accomplishment for people to be visiting the moon at all, the problem is that people don't think about the effect that this will have on the artifacts left behind that have only seen brief human interaction. People visiting the moon for themselves over time can destroy important archaeological milestones such as original footprints or even land rumors. Up until this point, the inflow of visitors has been monitored very strictly. It was easy to make sure they were not harming the artifacts because they were there for such a short duration of time. By expanding that time period, it will be much more difficult to oversee them. We need to make sure that there are laws against tampering with these artifacts. Better yet, cover the artifacts so that the possibility of harming them is not even a threat. To accomplish this, we should construct archaeodomes to isolate archaeological sites from common people. Essentially, the archaeodome would be a see-through dome-like structure that will encompass the site. People who visit the site will still be able to visually see the site up close, but will not have the ability to physically touch or distort it. While preservation seems like the logical step, there are many obstacles in the way. Finding someone willing to fund these projects would be very difficult. Since it already costs so much money just to travel to the moon, we should reconsider whether or not it would even be worth it. Aside from financing these projects, we would have problems with other countries also wanting their signature on the surface of the moon. Since the moon does not belong to any one nation, we should not be claiming property on the moon. Before you know it, the moon will become a lunar wasteland with too many countries claiming land on the moon. So maybe preservation isn't such a great idea after all. If we decide not to preserve the sites, our human market history will not be permanent. If something were to happen to our artifacts, what would we have to show for our presence on the moon, as our artifacts could easily be lost? We still have written records of our travels to the moon. Our presence would not be forgotten. Even if the sites were preserved on the moon, it would not prevent someone or something from destroying the sites as an act of aggression. In order for our presence to be forgotten, our written archives would have to be destroyed as well. As you can see, there are many obstacles to preserving the sites on the moon. The pros and cons are relatively equal, which makes it challenging to justify spending the money to preserve the artifacts in the first place.